Man, what's up? We back at it again. We looking over the new Gen 8 Pokemon. You know, the agency had to ring me up. We were talking about Corviknight. You know, the, the new agency mascot. Shout out 007, 00 Smash, and you know what it is. I'm joined by La Familia. Agency, agency official. Agency official, Sama. We're going to be talking about Corviknight. And basically, what we think about this Pokemon, what we can see happening in Gen 8, maybe possible competitive capabilities and stuff like that. Because this Pokemon really caught our attention at first, and even in the... Uh, video we did discussing like the gen 8 direct this mod was really on our mind the whole time so we figured why not just talk about it so what's good Simon? what you, what you got to say about corvin straight off the bat because i know you had some theories man you you know i had to uh i had to cap a little bit for the twitch direct you know i was gonna act like i didn't know about corvin but of course junichi wants to hit me up months ago oh telling really me, it's like know, that you know, we got a new mask up for you, Don Sama. What you think about this? I say, so he mom, don't worry about it. Don't okay, worry about okay, it. Okay, so this is the mascot. But yeah. It is, bro. When we first saw the trailer, we thought this thing was either flying dark or like flying steel. And it got confirmed oh, to be. Because yeah. I remember in the in our call, Sama was telling me it's going to be flying dark with the ability steel worker. Steel worker. So it, yeah, it could, have, like, it could cool. have a triple steel. But instead, they decided to go with flying steel. Which yeah. is like a good typing, but it's not too uh, it's not too it common. Been more extravagant. But it's yeah, not it's not it's not too common though, because if you think about it, this Who thing else? is only shared by what Skarm and Celesteela and Celesteela, yeah. right? So it's not too common. Like it's been seen before, but both of those Pokemon are good, and so I'm both thinking Steel. Instant OU. Yeah, so yeah, Steel flying by virtue is just an amazing <laughs> typing that might be uh, yeah, which is crazy considering how you know the rise of electric types because of Gen Seven. Yeah. You would think like it's not that good. And especially since they're steel types and they get trapped by Magnezone. Mm -hmm. But somehow they're like still high in usage. They're still really that. high in usage. It's crazy. Because uh, they stop all the Cartanas and stuff like that. Yeah. Lander is T. That's it's what we're really talking about. Very necessary typing when you think about it. Defensively yeah. and offensively. Yeah. So what they were talking about in the uh, direct was that this thing could be very fast. Maybe because, you know, they said it's like a taxi type service. Yeah. So I'm thinking, what if it's really fast, you know? But then again, yeah, I mean, we can't we can't always go with that because you know the Pokedex they be lying and stuff like that too. But yeah, bro. Best case scenario is I think this is a fast steel flying because both Skarmory and Celesteela are obviously much more bulkier Pokemon. So it would be yeah. cool if we got like a more offensive take on this typing. Yeah, exactly. I mean, when I saw him first, I was like, it has a very dark and sinister look. Like it just screams like. It being like the love child of like Huntcrow and Skarmory, which we're gonna get into. But like you would think this guy is like the premier user of knockoff, sucker punch, pawn, all of that shit. Yeah, right? that exactly. It looks like an offensive looking pick. Especially since it's a chrome or raven, and you know, Corvanite, uh Professor Agency, of course, him up he said that the name has to do with the word corvus, which okay. is Latin for crows and ravens. Uh, and okay, corpse and okay, shit like that. Okay. So I thought, you know, we educated out here, okay. You know, I thought it was a very morbid and dark Mon, you know, the first time we saw it, it was like flying through the night sky and shit. I was like, ooh, absolutely, it's gonna be absolutely. Levitate. I thought it was gonna be dark steel with levitate or dark flying with steel worker. And the reason I thought steel worker was gonna work was because literally they introduced that shit last gen, and uh, especially with like all of the new abilities we got like last gen, but none of them were like, fleshed out like Pukumuku's innards out and stuff like that, yeah. the rings, all that stuff. Definitely. I thought we were gonna we we're gonna see more of it. But ends up, we just got pressure and we got a nerve. Yeah. And a nerve is a nerve is still an ability that a lot of dark types get, right? Yeah, Tyran Tyranitar, I think, gets it, right? Tyranitar, yeah, yeah. Tyranitar has it as a second ability. So, but we don't really see that uh, ability used too much in general. We don't, we don't. But I mean, usually it's 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 like the lesser of two abilities. Exactly, especially now, exactly. I think pressure is a better ability. Its main ability is pressure, which is actually... A pretty good ability. No, it's it, used by more defensive mods. Exactly, like, like Zapdos, cool stuff like that. Zap, yup. Yeah. So I think I think pressure was cool when we were talking about it, and like the title says, we talk about this thing as a potential Landers T stopper. That might just make yep. sense because people already use Pokemon like Skarmory and Celesteela to deal with stuff like Landers yep. T because by like typing, they are usually able to take it on. But this thing has pressure, and it's a flying type, so we can uh assume that it has access to defog so a pokemon yep. like this might be able to just take on landers you know what i mean stop that thing it from getting up rocks it stuff might like that the better, yeah it yeah. might become the better hazard stopper yeah this thing might especially just be an amazing since, hazard stopper for stall and stuff been, like that yeah especially since people people are thinking that z moves might not be a thing in this gen which if mm -hmm. this is this that ends up being true like landers landers what he did to stop all of the other like uh 
Mars that stopped it from getting hazards up. Like he had like a ro you had to use like Rakim Z to stop Zapdos's plus two to go through Skarm and like muscle through Celesteel and stuff like that. Yeah. But if that's out of the question, and looking at its bulk and stuff, like somebody did like a little calc because like in the screenshot you saw it having 200 HP at level 60. Yeah, like yeah, people yeah. are already saying it has good defense. Damn. Good defenses based They've on are, they're already making like. those claims that has good defenses. Yeah, people are already calculating this. You know, we got the agencies, uh, calculators, and professors of in the course, back. But you course. know, the height and weight on this on thing pretty later. crazy too. This thing's seven three. God, it's yeah, crazy. Tall as hell. That make a little brown wings. Yeah, that is the brown though. Yeah, I'm liking the design. Yeah. Though. Should I should I scroll over to the team builder section so we can see the Pokemon yeah. that we were relating them yeah. to? All right, so these were some of the Pokemon that we were relating uh, Corviknight to. So Skarm is the most uh, common example. We could put Celesteela here, but we put Skarmory just because it's more of a bird, similar to Corviknight. Celesteela is not yeah. really a bird. We don't know what that is. But we also put Mandibuzz since it could have been a dark flying type. And I still think there could be possibly some dark type. Like, I could totally see that Pokemon having Night Slash and Sucker Punch, couldn't you? Yeah. And especially uh, considering this whole thing, the debacle about Gigantamaxing or whatever it's called. Yeah. Like, we still don't know what Roddy can take. Yeah, facts. You know, it might just have some. It might just have some. It might be something special, yeah. This, you know, like you have like the way Crowdon has like dragon type movements, the move pools and all mm -hmm, this stuff. Mm -hmm. It can get very, very elaborate. Yeah, So I do exactly. think like something with like knockoff, pawn, defog, uh, maybe somehow, be, especially since it's a steel type, I feel like it might just get rocks and like spikes or some shit like oh, that. Oh, definitely. It, yeah, just... it could definitely get that because like steel type is very uh, open. Like they give steel a lot of different stuff. Yep. So it's definitely you, gonna have toxic. I feel like, uh, def especially as a Raven Crow. Bird, yeah, I mean, I think all Pokemon get toxic except Magirna, so I think we should yeah. be good with that. But like, I hope it gets some crazy move. Cause like another thing they didn't uh, talk about is that it looks like a, like a like a dark type Pokemon, right? So it could be like yeah. some spooky type shit. It could even have some support like Will O Wisp or something crazy. Like, it, Yo, could, it could it could double as some kind of like midnight ghost type shit. You know what I mean? Yeah, 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 dude. And especially when you think about, it, remember um. Toxapex got its uh, its move Baneful Bunker. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That what if, that's what if a, you get something like that? Yeah, like a signature like, move, some crazy signature. Yeah, some shit like that. I feel like they can do that, no, especially that with a monster. Because you have to think about it. People are thinking about this: is this the regional bird or is the standalone bird? And we thought about it, and we came to the conclusion that this is most likely a standalone. Bird. Yeah, because I remember when we were talking pre-direct, we thought, okay, they're gonna show us the starters and then a couple of like Route One beginning Pokemon. And yeah. Corviknight seems to have some kind of role in the story because you use it as like a taxi type Pokemon, yeah, but yeah, it didn't yeah. seem like the type of Pokemon you catch on Route One. You know what I mean? And yeah, we didn't see exactly. any pre-evo or anything. It doesn't look like uh, the Starly you're going to get that evolves into like uh, a Staraptor. This yeah, you know what I mean? This like, looks like threatening. This looks like a menace. Either it doesn't yeah, evolve exactly. or maybe it evolves into something crazy. But I don't think it's a yeah, beginning yeah. of the route type Pokemon. Like especially when you think about it, Fly, like when does Fly become available? around the sixth gym like this that's when you're pretty already into the story yeah you don't you won't get you won't get a pokemon that's whole purpose is to fly you around on route one yeah, that, doesn't, you know, that doesn't make sense you're not gonna you're not gonna be using him as your uber fly yeah i'm soon you know exactly exactly you're not using that before the first gym that doesn't really make sense but, but aside from it being defensive which i mean i wouldn't be too mad if we got a, like a third steel flying defensive it, i think it mom. just i think it's just because the typing we got and just history in general has made us yeah. think that a steel flying type is for sure gonna yeah, be some conditioned. defensive shit yeah we're conditioned to believe yeah. that that's why we had mandibus too because they kind of look similar like because again we really thought it was a dark type but they just kind of look like they could be similar type pokemon yeah. mandibus is another support i type feel like pokemon. for some reason when you look at this i feel like for sure it's gonna get brave bird yeah i, like I think sure. it's gonna get brave bird and then night slash but i'm thinking what kind of steel move it's gonna exactly. get exactly because it can't get, it can't get me. Scroll. Yeah, it can't get has 125 base attack. And the, the, when you look at the official bio, like, you know what it is? Like, as much shit as we give Game Freak and the Pokemon official website for all of their uh, debunked lore, like yeah, they yeah. said, Vikavolt would be like some crazy fast Pokemon. Vikavolt has base 33 speed. <laughs> it's 43. Speed. Yeah, it's trash. It's trash. That is insane. It's yeah. a little bit electric type, but it's a slow as shit. Like, yeah. I'm more proud about that. But, so it might become fast you never know yeah true. even you if never it has know. armor it might become fast and maybe for like a hidden ability i don't know if hidden abilities are still a thing skarmy does have one true. it has weak armor weak armor where it's uh defense is lowered by one and the speed is raised by two so that doesn't hurt skarmy too much but yeah. if, if let's say skarmy did have better speed instead of base uh, 70 
but like some like base 80 or base 90 even for yeah. overnight that could make it an entire threat yeah that could, that's like a whole different ball game if you give that thing crazy speed and corvanite yeah. already looks fast and it's meant to be the taxi pokemon so hopefully yeah. it, like or that's what they said so let's compare yeah. it to hanchko a little bit hanchko's stats are pretty bad besides its attacking stats but its attacking stats alone make it like a viable threat and its ability is pretty yeah. good so i mean this is a dark flying type. i don't think yeah, especially with the armor and the fact that it's still, it can't have bad defenses, bro. I yeah, it can't, it can't. The way it looks, like, I would be so shocked. Uh, yeah, it looks, it looks way too solid. Well, me, also, dude. what way steel, what steel type do you know that has bad defense besides like Lucario and like, like some specific Pokemon like that? Like for the most part, steel types have very good defense. Yep. And, exactly. and like you know, they're bulky Pokemon. So in general, like even stuff like Bishop yeah. has a hundred base defense. You know, the most offensive steel types like Cart has amazing defense, Bad Spadef. But yeah. like you get the point. Most of these steel types have great defenses, with the exception of like Lucario and shit like that. But even then, it like leads you to think like, if this would be like some in some kind of way or some capacity, if it could be like an offensive threat, or uh, uh, even a sweeper somehow. You yeah. got you have to wonder like, how big is the impact gonna be on the meta game? I mean, if we were just to add it right now to Gen Seven OU with all of the fairy types running around, yeah, I don't even I don't even think the shit would be that hot. Like, it would be good because Steel Flying again in general is a decent type. It's a great. But if you look at the yeah, meta game yeah. right now, there's so many Steel types. I mean, there's so, so like, many Magnezone yeah. just because of the all the Steel types, um, yep. stuff like that. Fairies are everywhere. Coco. Like, can this thing Coco everywhere? Can you even beat Magirno with this thing? Because um, yep. that shit, like, you know what I mean, like. Like ju and, and we're just and we're just assuming we're well, just assuming from know? what we know about typing. But in general, yeah. yeah, I don't think that this would be a Pokemon that you could release into Gen Seven, and the entire meta would be like, oh shit, like the meta is that. I shambles. feel like the safest route for it would have to be uh, a defensive way. Yeah, unless it gets some crazy good support. See, that's the thing. Like we're not thinking. We're not thinking move. of a possible offensive set because think about it skarmory has access to swords dance and brave bird so it has some pretty good yeah. offensive tools even if it's a defensive pokemon celesteela yeah. has beast boost autotomize fire blast that thing has crazy coverage so what if this corviknight thing is quick and it has sd brave bird i'm yep. talking iron heads maybe sucker punch because it looks like a dark yeah. type like a set like that shift could be gear. what if it even got shift gear for no reason you never know you never know with these guys facts but i'm thinking like go for z fly swords dance z brave bird like that yeah, thing, all that, of that shit. That thing could, be, could a, be a supersonic new. sky strike. Yeah, yeah. yeah, it could be a, it could be a deceptive Pokemon based on design it and could what we be know. Very deceptive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you just don't know. But if if I had to guess, I think the safest route when it comes to longevity, especially looking back at its predecessors, if it has a defensive build, I feel like that's gonna be the most healthy. Uh, yeah, variant yeah. of it definitely, if it definitely. wants to get into you or you or stay in you i feel like that's what it has to become or at least like try to be as best as it can yeah because offensively i feel like especially gen 8 and the way game freak has been pushing the speed and attack creep i feel like there's going to be oh there's going to be way better offensive mods already coming like true, maybe true, even true. dreadnought when you think of you what know, if but that's what a if, bit for another day. what if this is game freak's plan at revitalizing talent flame like what if this is them trying to fix because wow. talent flame was their og like lit Mascot. bird and then they yep. destroyed it in gen 7 they made it trash in gen yep. 7 what if this is the new bird this is the new yep. smoke this is the new smoke on bird <laughs> that so you got to realize when talent flame came out that literally was to wrap their twin yeah uh, now when you look at this one People are already making those parallels, and people are already like in love with this guy. Yeah, That's yeah, people mind. are already big fans because it's like a dark type. Like it looks like a like a it mature ass Pokemon. Like you know, this isn't the shit you'd see in general. Yeah, yeah. Like this, this looks like a threat. This looks like a monster. Don't yeah, worry, but yeah. you know, yeah, this is some Great Britain shit. You know what it is. You know what it is. The agency. Shut up, the mascot. Shut Niggas the like mascot. Corviknight, bro. Corviknight is the mascot now. Nah. Anything else we should add about this? We're thinking we're going with defensive. That's the final call. We're thinking defensive all around is most yeah. likely, but that might just be biased from virtue of its typing. Yeah. In general, though, seems like an exciting Pokemon, man. I think the Pokemon we Very picked it to compare it to Scar, Mandibuzz, and Honchko were good. Mandibuzz was more yeah. likely if it was dark, but I could see it having a lot of the support moves Mandibuzz has, like taunt yeah. stuff like that. Yeah. Scarm had taunt I feel too. like it's gonna mix of all of the mods we named. Yeah, I I agree with you. I think it's gonna mix all the because. I just can't get over the, like the fact the that dark it, the dark look. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like it looks like it would right. have some like spooky shit on yeah, it. Like yeah, it would have access yeah, to like sucker punch, all that good stuff. Yep. Yeah, but yeah, yeah, yeah. Defensive is what we're thinking. I'm hoping that offensive is possible. But other than that, cool Pokemon shots. Corviknight. That's a mascot. Double O smashing. Secret agent. 
What Double else? Smashing. What else? <laughs> the agency is that what y'all say? Y'all gonna see. Hey, what you guys enjoy? Niggas finna take over. Exactly. Remember, remember last gen when I said Coco was gonna be top five? What happened? Top five. Top five all meta. So I'm thinking we'll have, this we'll month's gonna Secret pop. Agent, CDC make some heat versions. Exactly. Of exactly. But yeah, we'll be back. We'll be talking about the other Pokemon, the grass type, the Dredna, Wulu. What's the other one? Flurry, Eldegoss, all that shit. We'll be talking all of them. Hope you guys enjoyed, though. And I'll catch you next time. Peace. Take it easy.